Hello, I'm Keith Murphy, and I'm running for State Senate in District 16, which includes Manchester's Ward 1. I live on Chestnut Street with my three children. I am in Murphy's Taproom with locations on Elm Street and in Bedford, and I also operate the Manchester Sports and Social Club. Previously, I served as a state representative for four terms. I moved here from Baltimore in 2004. I was seeking a better quality of life with lower taxes and less crime. I want to live in a place with a great atmosphere for families. I think many New Hampshire residents tell a similar story. I wasn't planning on running for Senate, but a friend of mine won the primary for this seat and then found out he was very sick, and he asked me to take his place, and I thought about it. I thought about the fact that my son's bike was stolen out of my backyard last year, that my car was broken into right in front of my house last month. I thought back to when my restaurant was burglarized and how Manchester reminds me more and more where I moved from. I see a failed criminal justice system that allows arrested violent criminals back out on the street before the officer even finishes his paperwork. I thought about the gentleman who was recently killed in South Manchester, allegedly by a suspect who was released without bail. We badly need to reform the bail process and fix the criminal justice system. I see public schools staffed by talented, hardworking teachers weighed down by bureaucracy and red tape. We need to streamline that bureaucracy, let teachers do their job, and be supported by parents who hold their children accountable. I see many of my neighbors forced to choose between eating and heating, struggling with skyrocketing electric and oil costs. We need to expand the energy supply and end wasteful mandates that make generating energy too expensive. I see people struggling to find affordable housing. More units will mean lower rents. There are finally many new apartments on the drawing board in Manchester, but we need to encourage that developers continue to meet market demand by cutting red tape and making the building process easier and less expensive. I see a state government in Concord that doesn't always follow the Constitution and sometimes tries to be all things to all people instead of focusing on fulfilling its most basic missions. My promise to the people of this district is that I will represent you with integrity and enthusiasm and I will work to address these problems in Concord. If you see what I see, I ask for your vote on November 8th. I hope to see you at the polls on Webster Street. Thank you for your time.